hello lovely welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you all two methods on how i make my cassava fufu this is popularly known in nigeria as akbu or santana come along as i show you how i make my cassava fufu the first thing i did is for me to add water to my cassava dough if you have not watched the video on how i make this cassava dough please do well to check the video hard so that you can know how i make this cassava dough i will not be adding too much of water to this I will be adding water just to loosen my dough a little bit. Then what I did next is for me to put it in the fire. I will be stirring this until it thicken or until it change changes color. As you can see here, little by little, my fufu is beginning to change color. And you can see it has also ticking. The next thing for me to do is to add water to cook this properly. Then I will cover. I will allow this to cook for 5 minutes with a low heat. When making your fufu, make sure you put your stove in a low heat. So that your fufu will not get burned. So after 5 minutes, I just give it a stir again to make my fufu to combine or in case if there is any lumps in it. So guys, this is my first method on how I make my cassava fufu. So I just saw my plastic bag into two parts. So I will put in my fufu. I will use this to wrap my fufu. The reason why I'm using this to wrap my fufu so that my fufu will not have crust. But if you are eating it instantly, you don't need all this. Just put it in your plate and use it to enjoy your delicious soup. So 
So this is my first method of enjoying my fufu or of making my fufu. My second method is this. As you can see here, I tap my cassava dough. The reason why I'm tapping my cassava dough so that if I put it inside the water, it will not scatter or start splinting. That is the reason why I tap it. So as you can see, my water is already boiled. Before you put your cassava dough, make sure your water is boiled. I will allow this to cook for 10 or 15 minutes. So after 10 or 15 minutes, as you can see, it is ready, but not just 100% ready. I'll be putting this inside my food processor, but if you have a mortar for this, you can as well use your mortar. In Nigeria, we use mortar for this. So are we putting this inside hot water again? But I just want to mold it into ball form or in a ball shape. So the water I used before, I added another water to it. So the water has boiled, so I begin to put my fufu inside. I will allow this to cook again for 10 or 15 minutes. After 10 or 15 minutes, this is it. I'm using my misa for this, but you can also use your food processor for this. The reason why I'm using my misa is that my food processor was not connecting so i don't want my fufu to get cold so i put it instantly in my food processor in my mixer excuse me in my mixer and start using my mixer because the processor was not connecting so i don't want it to cool so over here is my plastic bag again so I just want to put it in it to wrap it this is my second method on how I make my cassava fufu guys So as you can see, my fufu is ready. I hope you do enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And bye. See you in my next video. Stay blessed.